Alright, what's up my fellow humans, hey how are you guys, so today we are playing I love you Colonel Sanders a, ficking, a finger licking good dating simulator or oh, for short in this title I'm just going to put KFC simulator, dating simulator Now, this game came out around September and before I had this whole setup and stuff like that, I was gonna record it. Um, I was gonna record it using that, but now I have this. Anyway, before we get started, tell us your name. My name is gonna be Love Dub. Wanna know why? Because that's the sound my heart makes. That's a fact. Look it up. You see, oh, all right, this is one of these games. You sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your mo 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 modest student apartment. The world is peaceful and serene. You can stay in the moment forever. Oh, you can wake up now, now, now! It's your first day of culinary school. There's no time to sleep in. Uh, yeah, let me get up. Laying in bed, you stare at the ceiling, thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School Academia of Learning. Your mind begins to wander. Who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? Time begins to fly by, and you find your imagination getting away from you. Uh, let me take this seriously. I better make sure to arrive and prepare something for the first day. You bust through your morning checklist. Teeth brushed, hair combed, pits deodorized. Nothing can stop you now. You confidently grab a biscuit and strut out the door and head off to class. Just what you need to get your blood flowing. Standing in the quad, you gaze upon a magnificent university of cooking school, academia for learning. Here comes your lifelong best friend, Miriam. She is the most adorably awkward person you will ever meet. And you will absolutely love her for it. Good morning, love dub. Are you excited for the first day of the rest of our lives? Actually, I'm... Because I sure am. Excited? A little nervous? Okay, okay. A lot nervous. What the? It's just that this morning, this morning I'm, it's just that this morning I made breakfast for myself. But well, when I ate it, I couldn't taste any love in the food. What if I'm no good? What if I fail? God, I'm need water. <coughs> <laughs> Classic Miriam. Raised by the master chef parents, she's always held herself to the very high standard. Ever since we were little babies playing together and you rescued me from that quicksand box, it's been clear to me that you're the most loving, caring person I've known. You're gonna do great. <laughs> But with the University of Cooking School Academia for Learning famous three-day only semesters, I'm afraid I'm being left behind and never catching up. The sweet girl Miriam had always had a flair for the dramatic. This summer, she's so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped the tooth practicing on a mannequin. Yikes. Uh... Nah, she really, she really needs a pep talk. Let me. 
Remember, last month when we saw that fortune teller and had our tarot cards read? Hmm. The lady with the mask gave me nightmares? I've been trying to forget. I know she looks spooky, but she was so sweet. And she told you, you are destined for great things. Damn, I don't know why I always burp. Remember that the card with the fancy looking tower and the other featuring a handsome fellow in the red suit? I've been waiting for so long to meet a handsome fellow I could call my own. And I'm sure you will soon. In no time you'll be graduating, you'll be delighting the world with your heartfelt cooking in no time. Because we're chefs. As you talk Mary and Mop, you can feel her nerves begin to ease. Alright, that's good. You know what? Maybe everything will be okay. After all, if not, at least I have these killer bangs. What? Alright. Can you believe I cut them myself? Uh, yeah, I can. I can. Sh I strongly can believe that. <laughs> yeah, I can definitely believe that. Uh, I, um... Uh, I can't believe it. Before you can get another word out, you rudely interrupt it when someone smacks your books and custom engraved measuring spoons. Not my custom engraved measuring spoons! Out of my hands onto the ground. <gasps> hey! It's... Pardon? It's Ashley. Your arch rival, she's totally evil, but you can't help but be filled with jealousy. She can't get anything she wants and she knows it. Hello, my chalet. By the way, if I'm saying that wrong, my bad. Oh, I didn't see you there, chicken shins. You leave love dub shins alone. They're perfectly normal shins. Ugh. Can't stand Ashley. Even her name is annoying. Know for a fact that it's actually Ashley. Oh, it's Ashley? What? Pardon? She just had to add extra letters to make herself better than anyone. Ashley. What the fuck? I'm over here saying Ashley. Still calling her that. I don't care. If anyone here knows what perfect shins look like, it's us. What do you mean by that? We're not gonna let you. We're not gonna let you or your really weird insults get on, get to us. Cross quad. You see Ashley's best friend. Van van the man man. Van van the man man. Man, man, the manliest man has stopped to look at his own reflection in the mirror. Oh yeah, definitely. His pants are so tight you can see him casually working out his glutes while he styles his hair. No lie, they're rocking glutes. Um, no question. Um, Vanman. You man. You've never been sure what their arrangement is, but as long as you've known them, Ashale and Bamban have been just as close as you and Miriam, but substantially more devious. I can't believe that the University of Cooking School, Academia for Learning, would really ever allow people like you to attend as students. I know, right? You'd think that we'd just hand us our diplomas now. Or maybe they'll... God, I can't... Or maybe they'll... Or maybe hire us as professors. You amateurs could learn a lot from us. With the first day of school about to start, there's just not time to properly tell this two off, so you resist their urge. Let's go, Mary. Uh. Yes. See you later, losers. 
as you approach the door, you see a goofy looking kid pushing hard against the window directly. Uh, oopsie! I think it's broken! You reach forward and easily pull the door open. Oh, that should be the shrink. I love you! I think you mean thank you? My name is Pop! I was named after my Pop Pop! He's old! Can someone like this be a student at this school? He must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name tag clearly says Bob, but I guess he's reading it upside down. Hi, Pop. I'm Lucka. So, are you gonna make me hold this door all day? No! And with that, the young man walks into the building at the end. Aww. Is he just me, or is he cute? I think it's just you. You both shrug your shoulders before following them into the building. You stand at the edge of the room, unaware where to sit. Other students wander and keep themselves busy chit-chatting. A scruffy-looking pooch takes his place at the podium in front of the class. Adorable. Now, now. Quiet down, everyone. Who is this unreasonably cute pup? Why is he in our culinary class? You must be Sprinkles, head instructor and CEO of UCA, UCS LA. Please call me Professor Dog. I may be cute and little fluffy, and little and fluffy, but I still demand respect. Oh! Cute dog. What? Cute dog is a professor? This is the best school ever. I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuances of fine dining. Out of nowhere, wind begins to rush around as you swirl, swirl a cherry blossom petals fill the air inside the classroom. Damn, I, I literally just did his voice and I forgot it. I'm chilly. Someone closed the window. And then. You're immediately swept in the aura of the new student and his remarkable note Who knew anyone would be so handsome? Time stands still. <gasps> it's him. It's... If it isn't my favorite student, Holland... Colonel Sanders interrupts Sprinkles. Sorry, Professor Dog, before he can finish his sentence. Please, call me Colonel. Colonel Sanders. A hushed murmur rolls through the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle of desk. Suddenly, the room is sweltering. Sweat begins to beat across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you and you're not entirely wrong. <sighs> and this over here must be sweaty sweats a lot. <laughs> Maybe we should open the window back up before the faucet pits melts into the puddle and it evaporates entirely. Hold on, just a second, nobody talks to my friend like that. You two both know my name. We were in the same kindergarten class. And what is with your all really weird insults? Besides, besides, when love them sweats, it's not gross. It's beautiful. Look at that shimmer. It's a good thing you didn't forget about the deodorant this morning. This classroom is hot, hot, hot. Professor Dog steps in to settle the class down and set some ground rules. I got him. Alright, I got Sprinkles' voice. You guys might not like it. Welcome to University of Cooking School Academia for Learning. The greatest culinary academia in the world. 
the birthplace of culinary legend, past, present, and future. Many challenges await you. There will be tears. There will be blood. There might even be a tiny, a, there might be really adorable tiny food. And when it's all said and done, there will be a battle, and you will lift your sparks and compete in the brew cooking arena. Just then, the student enters the classroom and interrupts the professor's rousing speech. Sorry, I'm late. I hope everyone had a good summer. I really miss. Quiet! Late to class is bad enough, but interrupting my monologue? You're on a fast track out of here, young man. Are you even in the right place? Don't you recognize me? This is my third year in this school with you as my teacher. Everyone stares at him blankly. Does no one remember me? I'm... You're expelled if you utter one more word before I finish! Let that be a lesson to all you students. That tardiness is unacceptable! Even Clank made it here on time, rolling halfway across town on his tiny vessels. You tend to see the student sprinkles and frames referencing who appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen appliance. <laughs> Class burst out into laughter. Oh, Clank, you rapscallion rascal, you! Sprinkles walks into the walks into the classroom as everyone stands in silent obedience when he gets to you. When he lifts his nose into the air and takes a deep sniff. Oh, God, sleep. Huh? Your diet is lacking. Based on what I'm picking up here, you definitely need a multivitamin. You better be taking care of yourself. You never had a talking dog as a teacher before, but Sprinkle's reputation for being smart but tough is well known. You decide to try to butter him up by giving him a treat in your pocket. Oh man, man, oh man, oh man. I want to give him a rubber ball. Beef? Maybe? Right? A beef treat? You reach beneath your apron and return with a small bit of beef jerky in your hand. Sprinkle's eyes go wide as he locks onto it. Beef? Are you trying to give me a heart attack? I would never eat that. You clearly do not belong here. Please remove your apron and then remove yourself from this classroom. Oh, TV reset. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, that's super unfair. Okay, now we're back. Uh, so. Because this is a KFC dating simulator, maybe chicken? You reach beneath your apron and return with a, with a chicken snack in your hand. Sprinkle's eyes go wide as he locks into his favorite. Got it, we got it, guys. Well, 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 I think there might be some competition. Oh, well, wait. <clears throat> well, well, well. I, I forget their voices so fast. It's insane. It's incredibly insane how fast I forget their voices. Well, well, I think there might be some competition for the new student here. For the new star student. The fairy presser immediately devours a snack, leaving your hands slick with a coating of warm doggy tool. You see the other students eyeing you jealously, but pay no mind to them. If they wanted to see, if they wanted to succeed, they should have learned the importance of carrying the range of dog treat flavors on them at all times. 
Settle down, young chefs. Take your seats and prepare to have your minds open to an amazing possibilities of the culinary creation. As everyone rushes to the call to claim their favorite seats, you're left standing at the front of the room. Only two options remain. Hey, Love Dub, there's a still a seat over here. It seems no one that no one has claimed a seat next to me. If you're interested. Aw oh, man, don't do me like this. Who could turn down Colonel Sanders? <sighs> don't I, I know what I'm gonna choose. But don't judge me for it. Cause I wouldn't do this in real life. Right, let's get that fact clear. This is a game. And it is what it is. But I think I'm gonna sit by Colonel Sanders. Look at this man. Look at him. Dash him. You move to take your seat by Colonel Sanders. It appears you've brought no books, pens, or pencils. However, his perfect upright posture shows off a seriousness that makes you confident in his desire to learn. Thanks for offering me this seat. I only had two rules. Do all you can, and do it the best you can. It's the only way you would ever get the feeling of accomplishing something. That's so inspiring. A little off topic if you ask me, but okay. As soon as you head onto your seat, the professor makes an announcement. Think fast! It's time for a pop quiz! Yay! No, wait. Yeah, a quiz about me? I know that's not his voice, but I'm gonna leave it at that. This incredible, important, and surprisingly short quiz will tell me if you're ready for the life at culinary school. Keep your knives sharp and your fork is sharper. Here comes question one. If train A is traveling down to point B and train B is traveling to point A, how important is it to wash your hands before cooking? Um... Well, from personal experience, always, but <laughs> I don't get why I gotta add this part, but extremely, I'm looking at you, Pops. That's right. A forest is, is to a tree as chicken is to... A forest is to a tree as chicken is to a feather? That's right. What is the most efficient eating utensil ever created? A sword? That's right. What food is best for a broken heart? Ouch. Yeah, anything with love, right? Is Sprinkles a good boy? He is the best boy. Yeah, that's how we do it. First try. Oh. Wow, be honest, did you cheat? You look up to Colonel Sanders as he's been watching you tally your score. Suppressed. I know we just met, but I have to confess. I think you have a beautiful Hot diggity! Love Dub, you just scored some major Colonel Sander points with that performance. May I have your attention, students? I have an important announcement to make. Time for lunch! Wow, the cafeteria is nice as any any. Wow, the cafeteria is as nice as any restaurant you've ever eaten at. It makes sense that school dedicated cooking would be serious about eating. A delicious fragrance waft wafts. 
laughs. A delicious fragrance laughs through the room and tickles the end of your nose. Your mouth waters. Did you smell that? That must be our lunch. It smells crazy good. Everyone calm down. Can I have your attention? Is it about lunch? No, I just wanted to apologize for my tardiness. You see, I was... Howdy, folks. I'd like to make an announcement. Hey, I was... It's about lunch. Everyone cheers. But I... Shush! Lunch! 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 She said shush! In honor of the new semester, I have prepared something special to share with everyone for lunch. Aha! Uh -huh. That must be the smell I smelled! Indeed. That smell is... You hold your breath waiting to see what food this mysterious student has created. You heard that he's very talented, but were the rumors true? Is this... Colonel Sanders lifts a large bucket above his head and contents glimmers in the light. Piled high are huge pieces of chicken, breaded and fried to a crispy golden finish. The aroma envelops you and you begin to feel warm and safe. Colonel Sanders has a bucket, has filled a bucket with chicken. What a novel concept. Your stomach begins to grumble as if you were to say, stop thinking, start eating. For years, I have been developing a single recipe more perfect fried chicken. From my calculations, nothing less than 11 herbs and spices are required to achieve perfect balance of flavors. You look around and notice that every other student has a pen and paper and is scribbling, scribbling notes as fast as they can. But that's all I'll say about it. What? You think we want your stupid secret recipe, dude? Pshaw! Nah, my dude. Nah. I'm just strapping the last one testament in case one of uh, one of those ingredients is uh. Boys! Got him! Looks around nervously to see if anyone else is laughing at his sick burn. You wait to see what zinger Ashley, Ashale, has prepared a follow up, but she suddenly takes a different approach. Yeah, and I was just like writing my diary. Dear diary, today I smelled something beautiful, and I knew at the moment that only the hands of a true gentleman could fry chicken so tender. You see her body language change from bitter and from bitter and evil to sweet and innocent as she slides closer to court Colonel Sanders. She realizes that he is destined for greatness and fame with the cooking skills like this. She wants them all to himself. So. Mm. Oh please. Hmm. Well, Bon Bon Mon Mon. If you don't want any, I'll take his well, I mean, I guess. I guess I'll try it. He takes one bite and his eyes grow wide. He starts contouring his face as he tries to hold in his pure exhilaration. And acts unimpressed. Easy now, there's enough for everyone. Please, follow my class. Please, my fellow classmates. Dig in. You take one of the pieces of fried chicken out of the, bu out of the bucket and sink your teeth into it. It's amazing. Tasting Colonel Sanders' food transports you to another dimension. Alone with your taste buds gripping on the drumstick in your hand, you float weightlessly. Do I want to focus my mind? Oh man. Uh, savor the moment. I want to do either of these two. I'm not sure what exactly I want to do, but I want to do one of these two. So I'm not going to look. Uh, boom. Somewhere up ahead, a bright light beckons you. 
Their flavor is so intense you become wrapped in them. Unable to resist, you reach towards the light. It grabs your hand and pulls you closer. Closer. Until your fingertip touch fingertip connects with the end of everything. You are forever lost in the land of the tender fried chicken bless your mind dissolves. There is no love dub now. There is only herb and spices. Though Miriam tries to revive you, she cannot. Oh I died! God damn it. Yikes. Alright. We're gonna edit this part out again because we gotta go through a lot of stuff. So Okay, so now we're back where we left off. Alone with your taste buds gripping on the drumstick. So I'm pretty sure I clicked this on my mistake. Um So I'm guess I'm assuming it has to be this one then, right? The flavors in your mouth are beautiful, pure, and heavenly. What a guy. Along with the flavors, you feel something that can only be described as love for a man? For the flavor? Are they the same? After tasting his food, you try to guess some one-on-one -on -one time. Colonel Sanders. You approach him. Colonel Sanders smiles over so softly as you approach. He stops what he's doing and allows you to break the silence. Colonel. I wondered if I could talk to you for a second. Anything for a fellow chef. What exactly was on that chicken? <gasps> How bold of you to come out and ask. It's an idea I had for a new combination of flavors that would make my fortune and establish my legacy for all time as I opened a chain of highly successful fried chicken restaurants. It's just you and me here talking. I can keep a secret. In fact, I got so many of my own, I'll be willing to trade. What's the rush? The semester's only getting started. We got two more whole days to get to know each other. He's clearly not gonna give it up easily. That doesn't hurt to be persistent. You know what they say about secrets, Colonel? Shouldn't learning be fun? Oh. You've got Moxie. Colonel Sanders looks both ways to make sure you're truly alone and then leans in. You can feel his warm breath as he whispers. Just one ingredient. But you can't tell I use. It's my great grandmother. It's something my great grandmother taught me. Mm -hmm. Wow! You never, you never have guessed that. In fact, you're not even sure where you can get some if you search. While you wrap your head around that huge revelation, you notice that Colonel Sanders had disappeared. While everyone else is still in the cafeteria, you decide to look for him. You find Colonel Sanders outside, sitting in the quad. Oh, it's you again. Oh. Sometimes I like to come outside and look at the school buildings. Like Think how my story will continue after I graduated. Sounds like you got big plans. I dare say the biggest. I will leave my mark on the world. You can bet on that. Uh, alone together for the first time, you figure out this is a to show your personality. So it's not this one, I doubt it's this one. He wants to open a, like, uh, fast food chain, I get that. So competition would be one of the drives, right? You know, I've been thinking about your secret recipe. Of course you don't simply forget a flavor combination like that. That's exactly right. I remember because I tasted it before and I stopped at a, I stopped at a random fried chicken stand the other day. And that chicken tasted exactly like yours. Hmm. 
That's no. I thought I was gonna be no. Did you just compare my recipe to a random fried chicken stand? Well, yes, I did. But it was really, it was a really good stand, especially considering it was frozen first. <gasps> frozen chicken. Oh, he does not look too happy. Colonel Sanders struggles with his emotions, fighting back tears of anger. I can't believe you would say such a thing. You realize you've done an irre irreparable damage to the relationship from which you can never recover. He said, How could you? Hey, love, though, you saw this game was called The Dating Sim, right? If that's your idea of dating, this is not the game for you. Oh, God damn it. Alright, you guys know the drill. You guys know the drill. Alright. Woo! Okay, so I'm pretty sure it's this one. Well, I just thought, I just wanted to tell you that I really enjoyed your food. Now I got his attention. The flavors were complex but comforting. The interplay between salty and savory and peppery. It was perfect. I I appreciate the compliment. I'm sure you'll be a big success. I know we only met today, but I'm starting to forget the same feeling about you. We should head back inside. The next lesson should start soon. You step inside the massive cooking arena where the afternoon lesson will take place. Each student gets an oven and all the tools and ingredients they could need. Look at this place. It's magnificent. I finally, we finally we get to show off our stuff. Wait a second. Oh no, we have to show off our stuff. What if I totally blow it? You're not gonna blow anything. Except maybe kiss the crowd of fans you're gonna earn with your signature adorable tiny food creations. Welcome students to the cooking arena. For today's lesson, we'll be cooking with partners. Hurry up and pair off. Naturally, Miriam looks over to you, but unable to control yourself, you pounce onto Colonel Sanders. Ooh, yikes. Hey, Colonel, would you like to tackle this lesson as a team? A team of two? That is, you and me? Me and you? If that wasn't clear. One real partner. Oh. Sure, love the Prepare our station. Without you as a partner, Mary was left standing alone. Two different students quickly taking this. Hello, new partner. Nah. Hmm. Oh my, two potential partners. I'm so sorry, gentlemen, but I don't know who to choose. Looks like you have to pick for your friends. Duties can be a little awkward, but that's the price of paying not being alone forever. Who do you want to ask to be marriage partner? Um, pops. Pops seems like kind of. He seems like a good guy, but he also seems like a klutz, and I feel like he's gonna fail. But Clank has no arms. But he is a machine. We'll go with Clank. Sorry, Pop, but I think Mary will be partnering with Clank today. It's okay. I already ate. It's not entirely clear if Pop has any idea of what the point of the school, what the point of school even is at this juncture. I, I felt like I read that wrong. Clank is clearly excited to have some attention. He heats up and begins to roll back and forth. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Hold on there, fellas. Uh, we don't even know the assignment yet. Technically, Clank might not have a face, but there's something charming and earnest about him. <sniffs> Tissue? I hardly know you. <laughs> oh, wait, that was her sentence. Well, whatever. Clank shudders and the panels shake loose. You get the impression that this is a sign of affection. Looks like you two will be fine. Now it's time to focus on your own cooking classwork. Alright. Oh, 
All right, you two. For today's lesson, we are going to keep it simple. Pick a basic dish and divide up the steps. No chef is an island. It takes two flints to make a fire. You get the idea. Which dish, you, which dish do you suggest you part? So I'm for a fact that has to be this one. I've always been this some. Uh, I've always been something of a down home chef. I was thinking we can make something warm and inviting and comforting. Maybe mashed potatoes <gasps> and gravy. I could imagine one without the other. Colonel Sanders casts a coy look at you, causing your whole face to go beet red. Embarrassed, you quickly turn away. I'll go get the potatoes. No, please, let me make a perfect produce. It's a passion of mine. Uh -huh. Looks like things are getting pretty fresh around here. Does someone have a crush on Colonel Sanders? We're just cooking partners. Mind your own goddamn business. Sanders' heart is my business. And you better keep your fingers off my man. Mm. Did someone call me? Bond on. Now I'm over here crushing on love the dream. We're supposed to take care of our classes. That was the deal. I'm gonna do it. Turn us to end of the remote. They turn. Arms full of good spirits. He calls them the most good and wild. And he gives them the most good and wild. And he gives them the most good and wild. Oh, howdy. Are we working in a quartet instead of a good one? Well, you know, it looks like the love dog was struggling for the opposition of the hand. You know, like, like the camera was set. So you didn't know the story. Oh, it's just a story. I mean, it's just a story. 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 Personally, I have no doubt whatsoever about Colonel Sanders, but they were really just kind of hot. Worthy of admiration. After all, this guy's looking at what he's looking at here. So, Colonel, if you ask me, I make a bit of That has to be a bit of 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 we fit together like a thigh in a jumpsuit. It just makes sense. Nothing about this makes any sense, but one thing is clear is coming up with the kernel. It's not more so. At Ashale, we were going at the bar. We had to come back to him for the end of the day. I mean. I'm here to learn and instruct myself to be my students and not take away my students on it. Partners were chosen at the end of the class who are all the same. I'm trying to find a student that's more like me. I chose to be the same thing that was chosen at the end of the class. The business man respects all fair agreements, from contract to handshake. I took on Mob Dub as my partner for this activity and I took him by. Based on your team's behavior, I'd say you were taking it. I'd say you were taking it. Never do you have to love that you're not going to have a story of you. Being the center of my team's standard, you should be proud and full of strength. You look to the center of the world that you know. You look down at your station and realize that in the tension of your hands and you're cooking on all the time. Distracted by the drama, you already crushed the boys to the ribbon to the pit for a few match that you have plenty of butter and cream to the ribbon. The table's natural passion guy is dead to be most of the wild wild world company of those things. I know what you have to do. Colonel Sanders is a fancy man holding a beautiful wife for the years out of which the boy is a huge brand of the mother of the community in the city.
Granny throws down the mound of mashed potatoes and is also attacking it. Granny is very proud. Colonel Sanders holds out a sport dog to you and you reach out and grab a hold of it, but he doesn't immediately let go. The two of you stand holding the same sport, and for that small moment, all of the madness and pressure in this crazy world stops. Your eyes lock. This moment is electric. Time stands still. If you love something, set it free. Together you dig the utensil into the mashed table and lift the heaving sport full up. And when you see Ashale with a sinister look, you know she's plotting against you to be with Colonel Sanders. And then through the rage and without thinking, you bring the sport full of mashed table and to act Zanvan, do something, do something. Cooking up a finger, well, Zanvan takes his chicken left to the finger and he has a little sword by that finger. Will you ever be able to put something to the finger? Hold that right there, love dog. Do you not wait for it in the blue kitchen arena? When you stand it, I expect better from you. If you go, if you go one more time, so you better both be prepared to see it in the ever alive. Do you have a fatal fear? But I'm not sure what it's going to be for you. Master Fatal would really put that in the between the two. In this appearance, in this appearance, I can say, I'm not gazed upon my destiny. I'm going to take a box of the most filthy salt water stuff. Later, I'm going to try to ask more than the most filthy salt water stuff. I mean, it does look quite good. Dude, you've been doing this for far too long. That ends now. It is I who have the first fight, and you will look on with envy. The interrupted student rushes at Don Don, who has been fired, and fighting for the first fight out of the city. Out of the city. Out of the city. No! No! The interrupted student doesn't strike my nose quite right. I think you're asking for some drugs. You might have turned into process. The results could be positive. Alright. It killed him. Everyone said bad, don't take another bite. You look back at the first place. Pop one to be playing with their name and all almost immediately back in the house. It tastes like poison. The entire class has gathered to watch Pop's final moment. Doc has closed in the whole crowd and emotions are so sad. The class bell rings, disrupting the moment and snapping everyone back to reality. It would appear that Pop's enthusiasm for trying new things, despite the obvious danger, has inoculated him against a poison of all kinds. I'm not sure. The professors here make enough money? Um, hello? I've just turned into a ghost over here. Seeing that you're shaken up, seeing that you're shaken up by that really annoying student and all his nods as Colonel Sanders approaches you. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Please, let me walk you home. What? Like, for real? Oh, come on. You follow Colonel Sanders out the room. At night, the school building has taken up another vibe entirely. It's dark, and it's more than a little spooky. Colonel Sanders stands in the quad's neon glow and speaks softly. Those mashed potatoes you made in class today? Before you go on, I want you to know that they're not the great re representation of my skills. I didn't even realize I was making them. They were amazing. 
tasting them and reminding me why I became so passionate about food to begin with. Colonel Sanders is getting choked up. Cooking is obviously important to him in a way that you find inspiring. Now might be the perfect time to tell him you're developing feelings to him. Colonel Sanders? Yes. Love them. There's something I need to tell you. Aha! Hold it right there. There is something I need to tell you first. Oh jeez. You see, when I was just a boy, I had a dream. That one day I would be the greatest chef the world has ever seen. And every day since then, I've been working towards this dream. Day, night, never stopping, never resting. Also lifting a lot of weights, so like so many weights. We should follow our dreams with all our hearts that our souls may grant them like wishing floating on a shooting star. <gasps> hey, no, I, you, shut up. I'm the one here to say all, um, to say inspirational stuff and be the star of the story. Are we forgetting that your cooking literally killed a guy? You can't prove that. Hmm. I also saw you kill that guy. What was the name? Somewhere in the distance you hear a long sad sigh. Forget him. We're talking about me. Me, 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 me! I'm the hero. <laughs> This walk on the air is here to fight our hero! I How dare you threaten me? Be afraid, be very afraid of me, I am a monster, see? Before you can discuss the syntax of each other, you can turn base spike sequence. What will you do? Oh. Alright. Back. He's hiding a little attack. He's going to attack you. 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 That attack really looks like four monsters. Four monsters. He's going to attack you. He spits hot in the air. He's hiding a little attack. He focuses on mass mind, he knows him as a mother, so they go larger than you know how to do it. I'll keep attacking. You try to go on the attack, you just have to leave. Because they love it. People love their mother, and I think they're going to be probably the end. Probably the over. Before this fight is. Of course, Monster is no quitter. He's locked up in the middle of the room. Utility and style. Of course, Monster is using speed sauce on the low amount of the fly. Doing a battle with Quick Monster is going to be a little bit more than that. Wild villain? Your reign of terror stops here. I understand that someone is taking a thousand chips. Hot high power power in! Hot high power in. You managed to stand down your disgust at the sight of this gnarly like, beast long after the world has been living through the conspiracy of this very big city. That's what happened. Be gone, beast. Don't you dare come back for a follow up in the time of your life. I won't forget this. I will certainly be back later. Like this is Of course, Monster is stuttering. He's a 
seems Moth had left behind his special item. It appears to be a first. It appears at first to be a cookbook, but upon closer inspecting, it's a witch one. The book of magic spells with a golden chicken on the cover. You open the cover and find a library card tucked inside, the last name being signed Alice Borgo. Hmm. Borgo. That name sounds strangely familiar. Your blood is pumping as you stand in the quiet of the night, holding a mysterious book in your hands. As you come down from your battle buzz, you realize that your final attack has left you completely depleted. The world around you begins to fade away. Without any energy, you keep your eyes wide open. Darkness overtakes you. The image of Colonel Sanders flashes before your eyes as you fall asleep. He must have helped you get home in a tired state. You don't know if you could have made it without him. What a guy. You want to thank him, but you don't have the strength to utter a single word. You feel your covers being pulled up, pulled up over you as you're tucked in tightly. Good night, my colonel. In your dream, you, you're together with Colonel Sanders for some reason. Sprinkles is also there instructing your love. Dreams are weird. What the hell? You awake on day two. I just have to pr process the wild visions you had with their memories or pernicious. And then, there was a secret ingredient that Colonel Sanders went ahead and told you. Outright, not much of a secret, huh? It's probably because he already trusted you so much. Sure, that makes sense. We'll go with that. You met up with your best year from the school. Alright. I'm gonna end the video right there. Uh... This game has been funny. It is extremely funny. Uh, will I record more of this? Maybe? I'm not sure. Because uh, I'm kind of curious on where it goes. But we'll see. We'll see. I'll, I'll think about it. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to leave a like, share the video, and subscribe to my channel to show your support. It was greatly to be appreciated. And remember that you guys are awesome. And thank you guys so much for watching.